hello this evening the cooking some food this is kung fu jesus and uh, these are some of the ingredients i'm going to use on the far left uh, is the grated parmesan cheese to go on, to go on top of the whole thing it will be a crust of some sort i'm doing a casserole pasta and saute vegetables on top and some meat in there as well so here we have the pork sausage spicy this is obviously the boiled peppers this is a sauce, I don't know, some sort of tomato vineyard fire roasted in here in this blackness, deep in the heart of darkness there is uh, mushrooms too, you can barely see there that have been washed quite vigorously because I do not trust mushrooms here we have um, garlic and the olive oil which will of course be used to saute the vegetables and here we have the uh, mm, spinach and baby arugula which will turn into a tiny ball very very small because that's what spinach does uh, all of this is going on top of some pasta which uh, I've chosen bow tie pasta so called apparently farfalla this sounds German to me but never mind that uh, I will start the cooking uh, obviously the prep is finished but I will start the cooking and get back to you in a few minutes so now I have the pasta going and I'm not going to cook it all the way al dente because that will be taken care of in the final dish when it sits in the oven for 40 minutes or so but uh, I'm just getting it a little bit done it's almost there has a minute or so to go uh, I'm preparing preheating the pan for the uh, vegetables and so on I have just finished running the beef sausage, the pork sausage rather uh, the rest of it is going to be a saute the red pepper and the mushroom until they are nice and cooked and together then I'm going to add the greens and then I'm going to add some of the sauce I'm going to saute it together with the garlic and the olive oil so I think I can safely pour it into the pan now <clears throat> to wash it after the pork sausage, but I don't want to get rid of all the flavor. It being a cast iron skillet, it will have residual flavors left over. So there's some of that in there. Now, unfortunately, I cannot cook with one hand, so I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to put down the camera for a while. But uh, when we pick up, I will have all the ingredients in the saucepan. So here we are in the kitchen. I have just uh, put everything into the saucepan. I had a couple of moments uh, where I was confused. I forgot to put in the chopped onions, which I have a bag of frozen. So hopefully they will caramelize by the time the uh, by the time the red, red peppers are cooked properly. Uh, and then I added some spices, of course, naturally. I have a tarragon, which I have not yet added, but the rest are easier because they have sprinkle tops. Uh, basil, celery, salt, and paprika or the tarragon now. I don't want to add too much seasoning because the sauce will have quite a lot in it but you need to cook with the seasoning you need to cook with the seasoning because it will give the flavor to the vegetables while you're cooking it of course okay there we go with the tarragon I'll just stir that up uh, coming along nicely I give it another two minutes or so the red peppers go from being uh, rather normal looking and uncooked to simply being cooked almost without you noticing. They start to become a little less red, a little more orange, a little more transparent, and that is how you know. And then you take one out and you taste it, and it's quite obvious. So, uh, that's sitting there. I have finished, uh, these are just soaking so they don't dry out. I'm going to put them into two casserole dishes, and hopefully I've not made too much. I still have to somehow fit the greens into the saucepan. I know that they shrink down to the size of a baby's head, but I don't know if they will fit in there in the beginning. I may have to add them a bit at a time. Should be a problem. That's hopefully not too bad. Okay, they're getting quite hot. I should probably add those now. And, uh, yes. Maybe a little more olive oil. I need two hands for this, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, I have added the greens to the mixture. Uh, 
and then I added a little water to give it a steaming effect. It makes the vegetables reduce much faster. Unfortunately, this is a tiny skillet. Not tiny exactly, just not quite uh, enough for the vegetables, but as you can see, it's sort of a miracle that they all squish down as I knew they would. Quite perfectly. I have to wait for the water to leave, of course, so I can add the, uh, the sauce. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at that. That looks like a very healthy mixture. Brown, red, and green. I love spinach and I love red peppers that have been cooked, which these certainly have by now. Ah. Maybe I add the sauce now, I don't know. I am indecisive, man. Alright. What was that? Uh, oh, and uh, aside from the sauce having tons of uh, seasoning in it, the uh, this, whatever it is, the sausage has a ton of spices. And this has um, onions, garlic, olive oil, sugar, salt, and spice. It does not say course, which spices of it would give away the trade secret of the recipe. Well, that is nice. A little water. You didn't see it on the camera, but when I added the first batch of water, the vegetables, they went down like, uh, uh, like a penis. Seeing an Elizabeth Taylor nude shoot. You know, she was still doing those. Okay, um, I hope that it does not stick together. I put lots of salt in there, though. So hopefully it does not. Right, uh, doing all of this with one hand, it is a bit tricky. Okay, I have to open it. Uh, all right. Okay, and then uh, pour some of the sauce. And by some, I mean probably the rest of my container, which is about half full. I have another thing of garlic I could open if I feel I don't have enough sauce. And that will go on top of the pasta. And on top of that, the uh, Parmesan cheese. This will form a crust. I hope. I might mix those with some breadcrumbs. I am not sure about that yet. Oh, that looks very tasty. Hello. Um, against all odds, apparently I have judged correctly the ingredients and the size of the ingredients. They both fit into two uh, nine-inch casserole pans. I'm going to. I have put uh, the pasta on the bottom, the uh, pork sausage on top, and on top of that the sauce, and I did not entirely drain the, the pasta, I wanted some water in there uh, to continue the cooking in sort of a steamed environment. I'm going to continue to put some parmesan on top of the, the thing here. It will partially melt, but on the top it will crust up and form a, well, a crust, actually. Now, if it was my old ways, I would be putting a shitload of mozzarella. Not so anymore. Decided that I don't need the mozzarella. And it will only give me the calories from the fat. Delicious as that sounds. This is more dry. I actually bought a, a, what do you call it, wedge of the cheese at the supermarket. And I used my very specific cheese grater for the Parmesan cheese. It's a circular grater, hard cheeses. Cheese goes in, you grate, and it comes out as fine little thing. So, such specific kitchen equipment. It is very cheap. 
general use stuff is more difficult to find and more expensive because you need it. And it's a one-time expense, usually. Okay, so there, I think, is it. I don't think I know, I don't think I want to use all of the uh, Parmesan. Maybe. No, that's, that's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. But I do want to cover it entirely with the Parmesan because it will not spread and melt as the, the mozzarella would. And then again, it's such a strong flavor, I probably should have mixed it half and half with the breadcrumbs. That will be a potent uh, dish, but um, yes. So there it is. Now I have to put it in the oven, and I don't know. I think I'm going to put it at 350 degrees and for an, about 40 minutes or so. Because everything is cooked, it just has to melt and finish cooking the pasta. So, <clears throat> right. I'll see you in 40 minutes. Well, a little more. It has to preheat. Hello. Um, I have taken them out of the uh, oven. And uh, let them sit for about 10 minutes to cool down. Uh, they look very tasty, I have to say. I'm going to serve myself a little bit, although it is quite late at night. I have not had dinner. Well, that was a good a time as any. I hope it is as delicious as the ingredients would suggest. Although, as a wise man once said, two great tastes don't always taste great together. I do enjoy taking long walks, and I also enjoy taking a satisfying poop. But I would not enjoy doing both of them at the same time. So, I don't know, maybe this could have used a little more sauce. Yeah, this was cooked uncovered on the top rack of the oven. Alright, so there we go. Um, very delicious looking. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking in the Kitchen. This has been your host, Kung Fu Jesus, and uh, happy eating. <laughs>